Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, back here with my Axial SDX-10 2 Doing a little bit of an overhaul on the truck, replacing some parts and upgrading some parts. Things that need to be done in this truck to make it perform a lot better while I'm there out there on the rocks and stuff. Now, in my last video, I did the dual stage foam and the tires from Proline Racing. Those helped out a lot. I tested out a little bit here on my little house rock. Uh, you know, everybody's got to have a house rock. This is just a rock that I grabbed so I can test out with, you know, test the suspension out, my tires out, you know, you know, if I needed to cut anything, if I needed to adjust anything, that's what my little house rock here is for. But in this video, I'm going to replace my stock shock mounts with these aluminum adjustable shock towers. Now, if you guys can see that. Now, I'm not exactly sure who actually makes these right here, but uh, they are really cool. They are made of aluminum, all right? And uh, as you can see, they actually have multiple holes here for adjustments on your shocks. So you can raise up your, your ride height or you can drop it down. You can position your shocks in different holes so you can make for different approach angles and stuff like that. So that's gonna be the fun part of doing the adjustment on it and figuring out what's gonna be a sweet spot, what's gonna be the good spot for, for my shocks. So now also what these do is that they're gonna replace the plastic ones because as you guys know, plastic tends to start wearing and flexing out. So here's the stock shocks, uh, shock mounts, all right? So when I'm crawling, look at this. They're flexing, they're moving around, all right? So by putting the limited ones on, they're gonna be, of course, not plastic, so they're gonna be stronger and they're not gonna flex around and stuff like that. So I will have a nice solid, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A nice solid platform, I guess, all right? <laughs> so yeah. Now the kit also comes with the hardware for it as well. It comes with five long two millimeter screws four brass sleeves and eight mountain screws for the chassis wise. Now it does not come with any instructions on how to actually mount these. So I'm kind of going off with what I think might be the best way. But if you guys see something, call me out on it. All right, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. But I think pretty much, I think it's the right way. All right. I'm just going by what I think, all right? I don't know everything about RCs. I'll be the first to admit it, all right? I, thought, I don't think none of us really know everything about RCs. You know, some of them are pretty wise at it, but some others not so wise. So, uh, but yeah, so this is a whole new thing for me, my friends. I never really get into the whole uh, tinkering and performance of my vehicles. I've always ran them out the box and worried about, you know, the cosmetic look of it, the appearance of the vehicle versus the performance of it. But now I'm into that stage where I'm rock crawling with other people and stuff like that. I really need to step up my game to make my vehicle more capable to handling a lot more things. So let's get into getting these stock ones off, putting on these upgraded aluminum ones, and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's get into it.
my friends, there's the process of putting these Alinron adjustable shock tower mounts onto your SCX-10. It was actually fairly easy without having any kind of, you know, any kind of uh, instructions on how to go about doing this, but I figured it out and it went well. And I still want to play around with the adjustments a little bit, but I just want to generally get these things on here and show you the process because honestly, I did not see a video on YouTube or Bing or Google or Siri or whatever. I did not see any type of video talking about how to put these on. So I hope that this video helped you in installing yours. And if it did, smash that thumb like button. I would really appreciate that. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do my friend subscribe, click that notification bell. That way you can get all the updates of when I produ uh, produce a video and stuff. Now, this is not the last thing that I'm going to do to the SEX tent. I do have a few other things that I'm going to be doing and that's going to be in my next upcoming videos. I have the uh, some dry shafts that I'm going to be installing. I'm installing a new motor and an ESC as well. So there's a lot more going on in this truck than just what you saw so make sure you stick around for those update videos and stuff and like always guys i'll see y'all later